So in this video I'm going to show you how to flash a Hobby King 20 amp ESC with Simon K firmware so you can use it on your multi-rotor project. Um, I found the instructions on RC groups and I'll post the links in the comments and I'm going to just go over really quickly how I was able to do it and it's fairly easy. Um, it just requires just a little bit of, little bit of tinkering but uh, nothing that uh, nothing too difficult. So you're going to need obviously the Hobby King ESC. You're going to need one of these which is a programming cable for I believe is an Atmel AVR um, programming uh, cable. So you're going to need, you can order this on eBay or I found it online for around, it was under 10 bucks, it wasn't that expensive. I think even Hobby King sells these now. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your AVR a USB programmer and mine has a ribbon cable on it that attaches to this programming plug and it has six pinouts and they're listed as MISO, SCK, RST, Ground, MOSI, and VCC. And what you're going to do is you're going to make a cable with uh, what, uh, with some wire to to plug into each one of the corresponding plugs. And you're going to create a pinout so that you can program the ESC. And what the ESC will have is a bunch of programming pads and this cable will interface with that and I'll show you um, where you're going to cut open the ESC to get to those to those uh, programming pads. On your ESC on the top right hand corner on the side with the three cables the ones that connect to your motor you're gonna make a little slice just just in from the edge and down halfway and then out. You're just going to score it really lightly and then this will just peel right back. Don't press too hard because you don't want to cut into the board or into the wire. And you'll see there are six programming pads. And these all correspond, these six correspond to the six here. So what you're going to do is you're going to line up corresponding wires to the corresponding port or plug on this side of the programmer. And I'll go over what each one of these are. So on your ESC, on your programming pad, the top one is reset. The second one from the top down is positive and on my programmer it's actually VCC so I'm guessing that stands for voltage. The third one negative. The fourth one down from the top is SCK. The fifth one is MISO and the last one number six is MOSI. So what you're going to do is make your programming cable correspond with some wire and match up to your programmer. So once you get that cable made, I'm going to show you how to interface this, program this with the computer. Now before we can flash our ESC, there are a few files that we need to download. And I'm going to post uh, the URLs in the description below. The first place we're going to go is github.com and the URL is github.com forward slash sim dash forward slash tgy and this page tells us what version of the firmware we need for our ESC. So in our case we have the Hobby King 20 and ES, uh, ESC and we need the bs underscore n hex file. So 
on GitHub, there's a downloads page, and again, I'll post the URL below. And you want to download this first package. This zip file right here. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to save it. I created a folder on my C drive called ESC Flashing. That's where I'm going to store all my files. I've already downloaded, but I'll just, I'll just re-download it. Once it's done downloading, open the zip file. Look for that hex file, which was the bs underscore nfet dot hex. You don't want the dot inc file. You want the hex file, which is the compiled version of the of the firmware. So extract it, and I've already done it, so I'm just going to replace it. So once that's extracted, you need to download a piece of software called WinAVR. And I'll post a link. I'll post a link in the description as well. So you want to download that and it will take you to SourceForge. And it'll ask you to save it. Um, it's around 28 megs. I'm not gonna bother, I already have it. Once you've saved it, run it to install. It'll go through a bunch of menus, just install it. And once you have that installed, come back and we'll start on the actual flashing of the ESC. So hopefully you have successfully installed WinAVR. And what WinAVR will allow you to do is to actually do a command line to run the, the flashing software and that's what WinAVR is, is used for. So we're going to run a command, a command line. So we're going to start the command prompt. We're going to go under start. Under search programs and files, type in CMD, push enter. It'll take you to, to the command prompt. We want to, we want to go to the directory where we saved all of our files. So I'm going to go CD forward slash. It takes me to the root of the C drive. Then I'm going to do CD. And then in my case, it's called ESC underscore flashing. And that changes the directory to ESC underscore flashing. And that's what CD stands for. It stands for CD, uh, stands for change directory. So in that directory, we have the bs underscore dot hex file. Now, again, I will post in the description below this command line that you're going to type in or copy into the command prompt. Now, I'm not going to type it in. I'm just going to paste it. And as if you notice, at the end, it has the file name for the firmware we're going to up, we're going to update. It's bs underscore nfet dot hex. And it's really important that in this command prompt that you are in that directory because it won't know where to find this file otherwise. So if you were on the root and you enter this in and you push enter, it won't do anything. So now that we have this copied in, let's get our ESC ready. So we're going to expose the programming pad on the ESC. We're going to take our, our programmer and we're going to plug it into the computer. You'll hear it pop up. You're going to take the other end of the cable that you created earlier and you're going to touch it to the pads. Also, uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned it earlier, but I took some hot glue once I had the order of the cables correct, just so it holds everything in place. It just makes it nice and easy to, uh, to touch uh, the wires to the pad. So I'm going to touch it to the pad with some firm pressure. And then, back on the command prompt, you're going to press enter. And now it'll start writing the firmware. It'll read the firmware to verify, and that's it. When you're successful, 
it'll actually tell you that it's done. If it was unsuccessful, it'll give you maybe a, an error message and maybe most likely what happened was this wasn't tight enough or, or one of these were off. So just be sure to have nice firm pressure on this. And whatever you do, don't remove it in part way through the flashing. It probably won't hurt, you probably just have to redo it. But uh, it's better just to try to get it done uh, correctly the first time. So that's it. That's how you flash a Hobby King 20 amp ESC. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. I really um, think this is a great way to um, to flash your ESC instead of purchasing some pre-flash ones because these ESCs are about seven bucks and to purchase the pre-flashed ones are about I think anywhere from twelve to fourteen dollars. Uh, but then again, uh, it is easy. It is nice not to have to do the flashing, but I find it easy. So uh, hopefully this video was helpful and uh, go out and do some flying.